The church is caught up in the in the in the ways of the world. We are spending a lot of money on things that do not in any way bring glory to God. And we are achieving nothing out of it. But little things, reaching out to children, just having vocational Bible school where children come here and they learn the Bible, and you have a meal for them, as simple as porridge or tea or, or juice. Just having something small for the elderly people. It is something. So you learn from people. Who is your companion? That's my question. Do you know that you are the way you are because of the people you are hanging around with? If you change the people you are hanging around with, things will change for you. If you are a, if you are a, a woman, if you are a woman, look for women who are excelling. Women. And identify yourself with those women. Women of prayer. Women who keep their marriages. Women who keep their families. Women who take care of their children. Learn from them and draw from them. Young men in the same vein do that. And you'll find yourself growing. There are some young people your age who are doing more than what you're doing. Why can't you go and learn from those young people and begin to do things that will bring glory and honor to the name of the living God? 64. The earth, O Lord, is full of your mercy. Teach me your what? Statutes. The earth is just full of the mercies of God. You walk around and you see the mercies of God. Traveling like this morning, you're traveling from Nairobi to this place. You ask yourself, how many aircraft accidents have, over, have ever occurred? Many. Why did the Lord keep me safe? And I drove up to this place. Why didn't I die through an accident? It is all by the mercies of God. If you sat down to talk about the mercies of God, if you were asked to write a book on the mercies of God, I can tell you for sure, even if the heaven was a piece of paper, the entire heaven was a piece of paper, and we took all the seas and oceans and rivers and wells of this world to be the ink, that you wanted to use and all the trees became a pen for you to write about the masses of God all those things will dry up the ink will get finished the, the trees will be finished the heavens will be finished but you will not have written all the things to, that talk about the masses of God verse 65 you have dealt with me your servant O oh Lord, according to your, to your what? Word. So God deals with you according to his word. God will never do anything in your life that violates his word. If he disciplines you, it's because, he, because his word says that he disciplines every son that he loves. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandments. That is a very powerful prayer. God teach me good judgment. Young men and young women, the time will come when you are supposed to choose your career of life. You need judgment. The time will come when you need to choose a marriage partner. You need good judgment. God give me good judgment. You need to make a decision over something that is happening in your life or ministry. You need ju good judgment. You need to pray. How many people have made decisions that they have regretted? There are people who have walked out of their marriages only to regret. There are people who have walked out of employment only to regret. There are people who have thrown away their businesses looking for employment and they have regretted why they did it. Because they did not wait for the good judgment of God. Allow God to give you judgment so that when you make a decision you can stand by that decision. When God told me to come to Abuhonye and establish this church and give up the church in Kamkuyu, I had to make a choice. And I made a choice to come here. And we, I obeyed that choice. Look at the fruit that that choice has brought. Had I rejected the judgment of God, had I rejected the advice of God, 
I'll be I'm queer enjoying myself. Enjoying a church that has had leadership that was already in place, but not achieving what we are achieving. Coming down this way, my friend, was not enjoyable because you know you're coming to do ministry and we left everybody. We did not carry any leader from up there to come and help us. So we do ministry with a lot of struggles, no ashes. Do ministry without anything, you know. You, but we obeyed him because we obeyed him, he provides. There are people who make wrong judgments. Let us pray that prayer again. Verse 66, let's go together. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandments. Spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.